Okay, hey everyone, uh, welcome here. We're going to have a quick little how-to video. Uh, basically, once you come to thekelsgroup.com and you'll come here to just kind of scroll down. This is a scrolling page here, several sections, but uh, basically what you wanna key on here is, now you know we're continually working on our, um, our platform as far as dashboard and everything. So you'll see the headings here change. Uh, we had a lot more headings in here. Um, it was getting rather busy. So I, I, I put it in under, you know, some of this here, like, you know, why, I'm, why am I passionate? Uh, the partnerships, things like that. So you can begin to, uh, you know, so we can streamline some of this. You know, this right here will take you to the podcast and blog page um, and show you, you know, all, all of our podcasts um, and any blog posts or anything like that. Obviously, you could subscribe right here. That'll take you to the subscribe page. Contact us is just your basic contact form. That's also located on the very bottom. Uh, of course, you know, this is a long page, but um, scroll all the way to the bottom here. We'll click close and accept cookies. But um, uh, scroll down here. You also see our contact page plus our cookie policy, terms of service, privacy policies, and disclosures are there. Okay. Um, but where we want to come to right here, we're going to log in. Now, if you are registered um, for the Kelsey Code, and you'll come to this login page. Um, so you will click your username, and it's typically your email address, and the password is a generated password by our program, our software, um, and uh, you can click remember me, and then that way um, you, you're, you're good to go. If you ever uh, forget your password, just click on forget password, it'll generate a new one since it'll shoot you an email that's on record. Uh, click the login page and it'll take you into the members area. Um, and it should take you, uh, if, if we have this set up right, well actually, um, because I am an admin, it takes me into the admin section. So um, we're not, we're, let me get out of the admin section and go to the actual homepage as, a, as I'm logged in. It, this should take you to, when you first log in, you should come to the what's new uh, section here, okay? Uh, this kind of gives you a little bit of what's new, what's uh, training courses, things like that, what's going on, any new partnerships, things like that. Um, what we want to do is you'll see a link here for profile and you'll see one li a link for members, okay? Um, go to your profile. This will take you to your profile page, okay? If you do not have one set up yet, um, this will the picture here will be blank and your background will be blank, okay? Um, <clears throat> this right here is, is, is the home page. Activity will show your activity. Um, if you've um, been posting anything on anybody's pages, this will show you some activity that's going on. Um, this right here is your profile. This will show notifications. Um, if um, somebody's responded to you or anything like that, um, you'll have, uh, they'll be listed here. Uh, this will li list the forms that you have access to. Okay, um, so it'll list any of the forms or topics that you have access to. Settings, um, your settings page is, you know, um, is going to take you here. This is going to show your account. Uh, you can generate a new password if you'd like to. It'll generate a new password for you. Um, I believe the system, I'm, I've been talking to our admin people, uh, looking at the ways that we can maybe... Uh, generate personalized passwords, but right now um, it does not do that. Um, then you click the save changes on, on that, on your settings, anything you change there. Um, <clears throat> you come down here, I believe the general information here is the same thing. So um, this will show email. Um, this will show um, anything that, you know, a members, you can set your activity. Uh, a member mentions you, updating you as far as uh, if they're using that email address. You want to be updated, uh, you can click yes or no. A member replies to an update or comment re um, that you've posted, you can click yes. So that way you can receive a notification um, uh, of the activity uh, from that standpoint. You can indicate profile visibility. Um, let me uh, let's see, profile visibility. Um, 
you can click here, uh, you know, click, uh, I believe it's everyone here. So it's base is your name and visibility is everyone and then click save changes um, on that. Uh, export data, I have, well, let's take a look at this here. So um, this would be here. Uh, you, can, you can request an export of your personal data containing the following items. In this case, this is all my stuff um, that we can turn around and request. Um, if we go to profile, okay, so you need to set up your profile picture here. Let's go to profile. And um, so here's where you can view edit. We already went over that and change profile photo. Okay. So in this case, um, if we want to change the profile photo, it'll, you'll get a screen like here. You can take a photo if you'd like, uh, but if you have a photo on your system, you can click select file. Uh, go to your pictures, and um, I have me. Let's uh, let me pull up something here that might have me in it. Uh, so, for example, let's see what we got here. Yeah. So, if I wanted to change this picture, I can click open. Okay, and that'll upload the picture. You should see it right there. Um, you can crop the image, or let's see here. We want. So for example, if I wanted to show something like that, then we, once, once that is done, okay, you just hit the, I believe, let's see, oh no, I'm sorry, you'll click right here where it says crop image and crop that, and that should save it right there. So that'll pop it right into your program there. So your new photo uh, was uploaded successfully. So again, um, now, if we want to delete that, we can uh, delete my profile photo. So then if we delete that profile photo out of there, um, that puts that picture back in there. But uh, again, um, we'll walk through this again one more time. So we'll click change photo, okay, or add photo. In this case, you'll select the, the photo that you want, and and then we'll turn around and if it's whatever one you've got there. And uh, so if I want to put this one here, I can click open and it'll load the photo down here. And once, once you get it to the where you want it, size wise and how you want it to, to look, you can, you know, so if I want the whole picture, I would hit crop image. Okay. So you crop the image and it will save the photo there. Okay. Um, so just like that, which in this case, I want my, um, I want my other photo there. So I'm just going to delete that out and that should put the other photo right back in there. Okay. Now we have a covered image, cover image. Ah, yeah. Say that again. We have a cover image. So we will click here on the cover image. And, um, so this will allow us to do the same exact same th thing here. Um, select photo. And so whatever we want, as far as a, well, let's let's put coming soon. Okay, hey, Rick Kaufman is coming soon. Um, this is a small area here, so you can change that if you want, and um, so you can change. You know, you'll have to change the image size. It says here for best results, it's thirteen hundred pixels wide and by two hundred and twenty-five pixels tall. But again, I just kind of use a picture of a swimming pool, and um, it, that worked well. You know, depending on what you what you want there. So, um, so let's go here and let me go back here. Pictures. We're gonna put. Uh, let's go to pools. I have lots of swimming pools. So if I want something, let's do, 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 do. you know, a lot of times these pictures of people don't always show up all that well. So if we want something a little more swimming related or something like that, um, maybe, let's put that in there, see what it does there. So if we want to add that picture to the background, and it would show something like that, okay? Looks like an arm coming out of my head. Um, let's pick another one here. So let's go down to pools. Let's start here. So there's that pool, that that one, duckies. Dun, dun, dun. So I think that's I think that might have been the one that we had before. 
So we can put that back in there. And there it is. That's all there is to it. Um, you know, once the picture's there, it's good to go. So again, you're going to click. Um, so you're going to want to set up your profile picture. So you'll click on profile, add the picture, crop the picture, size it that you want, hit crop. It'll put it in there and you're good to go. Same thing with that. So um, from that standpoint. So those are the key features um, on your settings here. Okay. Um, once you've got that done, um, then what you can do is come up here to your profile, click on forms, and you should see a list of forms that you have access to. Most people, if you are just signed up for our free program, this would be the Kelsey Code, I'm sorry, the Kelsey Code membership form is the one that you would see there. Um, and then you will have access to whatever forms or topics. You can start a topic. You can start discussions there. So hopefully this has been some help for you. And uh, we will be making some more how-to videos, I'm sure, here in the coming weeks as we progress. If you got any questions or anything about this, uh, shoot me an email at rick at thekelsgroup.com. And we will um, get you taken care of. And if need be, we will make some additional videos. Uh, if this was a help, uh, let me know if this helped you out. Thank you. You guys have a great day. We will be talking to you at another time. So see you guys later. Now i got to turn it off here. See ya.